it's up to you to educate yourself and to take matters into your own hand and have a growth mindset and not a victim mentality. So I am very, very passionate about sharing my story of how I literally came from nothing. I just built this business that has turned into a really big success and I just keep pushing forward with different projects and different things that I'm truly passionate about. My husband and I started it together and we just started it as a passion project, as a hobby. I did not take it seriously at all. <laughs> I had a really rough childhood, a really rough past growing up, and I was not good with school at all. I hated it. And so I ended up dropping out of high school when I was 16 years old. I moved out with my boyfriend at the time, which was an awful idea, but you know, I thought it was just the greatest thing to do at the time. So I never had any idea at any point of what I was doing. I just did what I thought was the best decision to move forward. And I'm completely self-taught in both business and in baking and in cake decorating. Last year, our bakery did 1.3 million in sales. And I think, like I was saying, that it doesn't matter what industry you're in, you have the potential to be as successful as you wanna be and make as much money as you wanna make. Business is not easy and it is hard work okay especially in the beginning so you can get help and in fact help is definitely gonna help you grow substantially so you need to realize what your strengths are and focus on what your strengths are and delegate the rest also too if you're constantly growing and evolving and adding things in on top of it like so i have my bakery store but i also have my podcast i also have my blog i also am writing books um, I'm doing all of these other things that are like spin-offs of my main bakery business. The best part of the job for me is connecting with people and helping other entrepreneurs like realize their potential. I love um, with my bakery business, how we can create lasting memories for special occasions. And I wouldn't really say there's a worst first part for me because I feel like I'm living my purpose and it's really fulfilling me. But I would say challenging for me is that I am an extreme introvert. <laughs> So I have a really difficult, challenging time putting myself out there, being on videos, doing my podcast. Don't get me wrong, I still do them. I still push through my comfort zone. Um, growth is important. We create products for social media. So that's our strategy. That's what really worked for us. You have to know the demographic of people that you're targeting to, okay? So with Chick Boss Cake, you know, it's a reflection of me, my personality. It's very colorful, very over the top so that they get shared by people so that people are taking selfies with our products and posting it. And, you know, that's honestly how we grew our business uh, from the very beginning. And honestly, it, it really connects us to different communities too. So um, I am super passionate about it and really encourage other businesses to put an emphasis and put uh, their marketing dollars into social media.